Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm going to show you how to up your streaming game using NVIDIA Broadcast, which is a free utility tool that you can download from the NVIDIA website. And I'll leave a link to where you can get it in the description box below. In conjunction with the utility, we're going to be using OBS, Open Broadcast Software. And this is a streaming title that allows you to get things configured, including setting up your video, audio, and other elements that you might want to be sharing for your stream. So I'll give you a bit of a rundown of how to use OBS later on in the video. We're really gonna focus on NVIDIA broadcast today. If you want a full explanation of how to use OBS, I've also created a video on that topic and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Now, before we get started with all the software, just a quick discussion about my hardware setup that I'm using today. First of all, I've got the Canon EOS R which is a digital camera that's connected via a USB-C cable to my Razer laptop. So that is the video source that you're seeing today. I'm actually recording it in OBS right now, and this is what it looks like. Now, I'm just gonna quickly turn on the background blur effect in the video broadcast as I'm talking. So now you should see that the background has a nice blur effect, which gives you that simulated depth of field effect that you would get on a camera. Now, I could have done that with my camera itself by changing the aperture, but I just wanted to show you how it's done using the video broadcast. In terms of the audio, I'm using the Thrommax Ghost USB microphone, and that's connected to the Razer as well. And this is the audio that you're hearing throughout this video production. Now, I've, I've run it through NVIDIA Broadcast and it has echo reduction and noise filters applied to it. And that is why the audio sounds so clean. So let's go over to the NVIDIA Broadcast software and I'll show you how to set everything up. So there's three tabs at the top of the application. The first one is for your microphone. So the idea is to use the drop down menu at the top to find the microphone that you're using and select it. And then you can add effects. I've added room echo removal and noise removal, and I've got them at a strength of around 80%. I wouldn't recommend that you go any higher than that because when you go too extreme with noise reduction of any kind, whether it's this software or audio software of any kind, it tends to cut into the waveform of the actual audio itself and sounds a little bit artificial so usually a strength of anywhere between 60 to 80 percent should be more than enough to take care of the excessive echo and noise in the audio and the third tab in the nvidia broadcast software is the camera tab and this will give you the option to select any of your connected webcams whether it's the internal webcam or external cameras that you may have connected, you can use the drop down list and select from any of those cameras. So once you select the camera from the drop down list, there's a second drop down which allows you to select available resolutions. And below that is the effects section, which allows you to add different effects to your camera. The one that I have selected here is background blur. And you'll notice that if I use the slider here, and move it along to the right, we get a more extreme background blur effect depending on the look that you're going for. So the more extreme that it is, the more artificial that it's going to appear. As you can see, when I'm at nearly 100%, it's kind of created a strange cut in front of the laptop here. And also if I turn around, you can see on the headphones, it's not really accurately cutting out the blur. So I prefer to select it at around maybe 30% or even a little bit less. And that just gives you enough blur to knock out the background and make it more artistic in appearance without completely blurring it out. It looks much more natural and effective and kind of really does simulate the effect that you would get using a wide open aperture on a DSLR or mirrorless camera. So that's the background blur effect. Then there's the auto frame effect, which is quite cool as well. If I turn that on, you'll see that it zooms in to the image and it kind of follows you around. So if you find yourself going off to one side or another, 
you'll find that it compensates and tries to put the subject in the center of the frame. So you've got to move across a little bit more and it's centered me again and back into the center. So that will always keep you pretty much centered in the frame if you tend to move around a lot. So auto frame could be a really useful feature when you're live streaming. Another great feature of NVIDIA Broadcast is called eye contact and it does exactly that. It allows you to maintain eye contact even when you're staring off lens. So if I was to look over here, obviously you can see that I've lost eye contact with the audience. So I'm now going to turn the eye contact feature on. I'm staring directly in the lens right now. And in just a moment, I'm going to look over in this position. I'm now staring around 20 centimeters away from the camera to the right. And I'm now back in the center, staring at the lens. And I'm staring 20 centimeters to the left. And it should be putting my eyes in the center so that it looks as though I'm staring directly into the camera lens. So I'm off camera now. I'm staring at the lens and I'm off camera to the right and staring back at the lens. And hopefully you should have seen me maintaining eye contact throughout. If I turn that feature off and as you can see, when I stare left, you can clearly see that I'm not staring or maintaining eye contact. When I'm in the middle, you can see that eye contact. And when I'm staring to the right, I've lost eye contact again without the auto eye contact feature turned on. So once you've set up all of your hardware and applied the effects the way you would like them to appear when you're streaming, you're ready to head over to the OBS software. So I've got OBS open up right now. And the idea would be to create a scene and then add the sources. If you want full details on how to do that, I've created a video on that topic and I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. But just briefly, I'll explain how it's done in this video. The idea is to create a scene and then select the sources tab to add your video and audio source. So for the video source, it would be a video capture device. And rather than select the EOS webcam utility, you would select the camera NVIDIA broadcast. And for the audio, you would click on the plus button, add the audio input capture. And rather than selecting the microphone directly, which would be the microphone from Max Ghost, which is what I would normally do if I wasn't using the NVIDIA software, I would select microphone NVIDIA broadcast. So that's going to bring in the audio track from after it's been had the effects applied through the NVIDIA broadcast software. So that's a quick demonstration of how to use NVIDIA broadcast to up your streaming game. If you have any comments or questions, drop them in the comments box below. If you enjoyed this video, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. See you on the next one. Bye for now.